In this episode, we're going to work on repairing the crashed ship that I had claimed. Notice I added on an extra room with the solar panels on top. That was for the fungal clusters um, that I gathered in the previous episode are growing in there. We'll check it uh, near the end of this episode to see if they're grown. All right, let's repair this. What I did was I gathered stuff on planets and bought stuff at space stations. Now let's try and repair some of this. Um, how much chromatic? I have 946 chromatic metal. Let's see, with the paraffinium and the pugnium, I make chlorine out of salt. If you put salt in a refiner, you get chlorine. Um, I, we collected some platinum you saw in some of the previous episodes. You saw us collecting phosphorus and pyrite you know how to make metal plating out of ferrite and also you can buy it at some space station. This is cheaper than buying um, storage slots. So actually some people say it's not worth the effort. Actually 150 is a lot of chromatic metal at one time. I'm going to leave that for last. But you know, we got pugnium from killing the um, sentinels. Pyrite, phosphorus, metal plating we gathered in planets and bought at space stations. Um... You know, we got the gold off of those metal fingers in the other episode. Uh, the pugnium, you know, from the sentinels, paraffinium. We bought in places and gathered some. Okay, we are left with needing chromatic metal for stuff and antimatter for stuff. Okay, I'll work my way down from the top. We'll need antimatter. Uh, we can use the chromatic metal for this. Still have enough chromatic metal. Look at that. You could buy wiring looms in space stations. Okay, three, six, nine, twelve. I need fifteen antimatters. We need to buy copper to make those antimatters. Let's see how much it takes to make um, antimatter. 
25 chromatic metal per antimatter and we need three, six, nine, 12, 15. So we'll need about, think about 400 chromatic metal. get 200 chromatic metal right here. Okay, let's make some antimatter. And now Let's repair. Okay, we need five more antimatter. They have copper. Let's see how much copper we need. We need two, five antimatters, which take 125 chromatic metal, which will take 250 copper. So I uh, will just take all of that. And we'll put about two hundred and fifty copper in there. Let's go back and finish rebuilding the ship at the base.
make more antimatter using the chromatic metal. We need one more antimatter. Nojo's Sentinel, the 14th, is now fully repaired and operational. Oh, excuse me. Forgot about that. Did I forget anything else? This one. Gold and pure ferrite. We got the gold from the metal fingers in that other episode. These are pretty close to each other. These are nice, these supercharged slots. All right, last item on this episode is to have a look at the plants and see if we can move the farming along. I'll give you a little tour. Got the gut rot growing. We got the frost wart, gro wart growing. We got the selenium growing here. It's not grown up yet. And we have some of the um, some of the fungal clusters are growing here. And I'll need to harvest a total of 50 in order to move the agricultural research forward. You saw that in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Okay. And uh, I did mention that there are two solar panels on the roof of this here to ensure that there is an, a supply, of, constant supply of power with, with a battery, of course. Okay. I will be using not that ship, but the Epsilon Atlas Fire as my main ship. All right, thank you for watching. In the next episode, I'm going to do... Um, one of the weekend missions at the Nexus. Thank you for watching.